And through all this, the um, don't fuck with me because you can't get me pregnant anyway, rock, prosperous. Um, why? Uh, because the 50 rock fortresses, like a Persian mandala, between the Caspian Sea and Gosvian. There's 50 of them in there now. Um, yeah, the stronghold um, is, is a buffer territory uh, far south from the main Silk Road through Bokora and Khorasan. And they are too far north to be threatened by the overwhelming juggernaut campaigns headed by Darius and Alexander the Great. The assassins were seemingly blessed by Kismet to dwell in this auspicious zone of military invisibility. Until, oops, the invasion of the Mongols in the 13th century, when the Mongols poured through the passes like a barrel of spilt tartar sauce oozing through the mountain passes from the northern Steep steps. They went down the steps and did some damage. World-renowned Mongol horsemen poured their tartar sauce on all the invading women they could get their hands on. And one Mughal warlord named Halagu Khan, he started capturing the satellite fortresses one by one, picking off the outer ones first and moving in towards the old man himself. The baddest rock of filthy, dirty rocks fortresses, monoliths, citadels, Shiva cocks the size of a 40-story a, a building. But the rock of Alamont, you know, the baddest, still defiant, free, self-sufficient. Don't gather around that or you're going to get wet with a golden shower like the falcon <laughs> from Khorasan before him Hugala Khan uh, he camped in the meadows of uh, Kaiser Khan get the book you know where the fuck it is um, all winter long but as usual the rock stood firm, which is not too hard for a rock, um, and unconcerned. Rocks don't think shit anyway. They're concerned about, you know, humans. Um, they're a passing show as far as rocks are concerned. Dinosaurs, humans, amoebas, cockroaches. Oh, yeah, all winter. Hulago Khan. He wants the big one. Ah, Hashishan. Yeah, they're unconcerned. As in years of yore, which is a long time. Abundant with food, grain, and. <laughs> 
party animals? Assassins, as usual. Uh, but by sheer luck, the mogul accidentally captured the leader of the assassin garrison named Ruchnidin. Um, and the Mughal warlord threatened Ruchnidin with, alternatively, like death, or, hey, safe passage. Gazvin, you want a party? Alive. Uh, and when Ragnit uh, then he still couldn't decide. Um, they waterboarded him in a vat of steamy Persian sticky rice and uh, purposely they didn't drain the water out of it first. Waterboarded with sticky rice, clogged with too much. Hmm. Well, this torture broke Rakhnidin down. He gagged on that. And uh, he ordered his disbelieving fellow assassins to surrender without an arrow shot? I mean, like he just abandoned the Kurds uh, uh, of his day? He just, he just like pulled out the, and then Turkey, and then 